Hey guys, so um, today I'm just going to be showing you guys um, how I've been, I've been messing around and finding out um, about how to get items that I create in um, Gravity Sketch and get them into Unity, change their color, and then upload them into Altspace. I'm not going to cover the details of um, using the Unity uploader. And so there are a couple of tutorials online about how to do that. I'm just going to put the links in um, the description of the video. But I'm not really going to go through any of that as a how-to at all. Um, I'm just going to go through, I'm going to assume that you already know how to do that stuff. Um, this video is mostly for my classmates and my professors because um, we were all wondering how to upload from Gravity Sketch into Unity into um, Altspace the other day during class and I said that I'd make a video or, or come up with like the steps involved um, and it's pretty simple um, so I'm just going to take you through. So without further ado, um, I'm just going to start sharing my screen. All right, so we're just going to jump straight on into Gravity Sketch. So when it comes to what I'm designing, it's going to be super simple. So that came up really quick, but um, the launch page, it said connecting to landing pad. So landing pad is going to be really, really important. Right now, I'm just going to go to new sketch in Gravity Sketch. So here's what we have. So we have two controllers. We have a purple button, a blue button on the left hand. We have the time over here. We have a color wheel where if I press it, it brings up this black wheel. But if I pull this out, it turns into a column and it gets lighter the further out I pull. So you can really, you have a lot of control over what color things will end up. I'm going to make it green for now, even though our colors, because it's an OBJ, our colors are not going to pull through um, to Unity, but that's okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press my tool button over here. Um, so you see this is ink, we have stroke, we have revolve, which is a really cool one, uh, surface and volume. I'm going to go ahead and pick volume today. Um, and so now I'm going to go ahead and do something super simple. I'm just going to go and do a nice circle at the top, nice big flat area at the top. And now from there, I'm going to go down and I'm going to do an even bigger circle at the bottom. Hopefully I don't hit anything in my physical environment, which I might, but who knows. Bring this down a little bit further. I don't know, maybe I'm doing a terrible job at this, but that's okay. So I have a nice big object now. I can actually grab this and move it around. So that's what it looks like. It's a grassy knoll. So I'm going to put that right there for a second. So now if I go back, I can go to my blue menu button right here. And first thing I'm going to do, because I've signed up for landing pad, I can actually go to this one and go to save to cloud. And now whatever I save, it'll automatically show up in my landing pad account. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to export. I'm going to click export. And now you can see that it's not quite in the center of my environment. So I'm going to click center, recenter, and it's going to go right in the middle. Real quick, just to give you guys some information. So millimeter, centimeter, meter, and inch. Unity is in meters. So we're going to want to use the meter button. Also, so OBJ is the file format we're going to use. FBX is better, but if I go to XBX, you can see, sorry, this feature is not available on Quest. Sad, sad face, sad face, because that would be cool. So I'm going to go ahead and do OBJ and put it in meters. So from there, I don't really know what the rest of these settings are just yet, but that's okay. I'm just going to go to export for now. And I'm going to pick up this menu and move it over. Um, and I'm going to title it Grassy Knoll. We're just going to call it Grassy Knoll. So check mark, 
please stand by. We're waiting to see if it uploads. It says on the right controller, upload success. So we know we've done it. So now we're just going to back out of this. We're going to quit. I'm going to close this down and we're just going to go over to files and lending pad. And I'm just going to update this. Hey, look, my grassy knoll zip has shown up. So now I go ahead and click on my grassy knoll zip um, and I can go to download. So now grassy knoll zip ends up in my files and I can click it and it'll open up. And now you might see some other files in there of Grassy Hill. This is not the first time I've done this. This is the time that I'm filming it to show you guys. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do, um, so I have my um, Unity window open. I'm gonna go ahead. I've already downloaded my um, uploader, my alt space uploader. I've already updated the code so that it works with Mac. I've already signed in um, on my Mac and I've already created a template and I've created a world in Altspace. And so Grassy Knoll is already available as a template. So we're gonna ignore this for now. Those are all the steps that you'll need to learn. Um, if you wanna take a really great um, world building course, I know of one. Um, I'll put that in the I'll put the link to that in the description too. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my scene and I'm just going to go to um, assets, the assets menu, scroll down to get to import new asset. I'm just going to go straight to my downloads. I'm going to scroll around until I find grassy knoll. Grassy Knoll, uh, the file itself. So now I'm not going to be able to click on the MTL file, but I can click on the object file. It looks green over here. It's not going to show up green in my file. So I've uploaded it. So you can see that it's here now. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that in my game object. So you can see it looks pretty small. So I'm actually going to change the scale of this a little bit. I'm going to move my picture over. I'm going to change the scale of this a little bit. I'm going to go 50, 50, and 50. It'll be about 50 meters. So now I'm going to zoom out. So now it looks like a proper grassy knoll, right? Keep in mind, it's currently at the 0, 0, 0 position. Um, and if we leave it there, um, we're not going to be able to stand on it when we spawn. So I'm not going to actually say I'm going to go negative 15. Let's just see if that's a reasonable spot for it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click on my grassy knoll inner object, the mesh renderer. I'm going to put on a mesh collider. Um, and I am going to go ahead and turn on layer 14 nav mesh so that we can teleport once we get into um, alt space. So from here, I actually want to change the color and I've already made some materials because I'm like that. So we have soil, which is brown and we have grass, which is green. I'm going to go ahead and make it green. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and put this grass on my object and it turns green. So that's all we want. We can also, we can change the color in here a little bit. If we want it to be a little bit darker, maybe a little bit darker. There we go. That's good enough. I don't want it too smooth. Too smooth will look, look super shiny. We don't want it shiny. I want it to be just fuzzy, a little bit fuzzy. So that's good enough because we can still see the shadows on it pretty well. You can kind of see the different, um, all the different polys we have. 
It's still not going to be super big because it definitely has polys. If I wanted to reduce the poly count, I could either do that in Gravity Sketch. There is a way to reduce polys in Gravity Sketch. Um, or I'm sure there's a way that I can do it in Unity, but I haven't actually done that homework assignment yet for my world building course. So we're not going to go into that now. Um, all right, moving on. So now that I have it looking the way that I want it to look and I have it at the right height, I'm going to, and um, that it's collidable, I'm going to go ahead and go to my alt space world um, uh, build settings and make sure grassy knoll is selected. Yes. And build for Windows, build for Android. Yes. I'm going to build and upload. It's going to take a minute to do this. And I am going to, like, it's doing what it's doing. I'm going to up update my template. Nope, this is still the last the last build I did. Let's update it again. Still the last build I did. It says upload complete. I'm going to upload one more time. Less than a minute ago. It is good to go. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to screen share again and we are going to go into we're going to go into alt space and take a look around at the grassy knoll that I've built. So now we're going to jump straight into alt space to launch anyway. I don't want to update that right now. Nope. Okay. Do, 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 do. Okay, home page. Let's go to main menu, worlds, my worlds. Grassy knoll test. All right, let's get an idea of how this is looking. <laughs> it's going to be great, you guys. Ooh, it is a grassy knoll, and I can... I can go down the sides and go up the sides. It looks great. Look at this grassy knoll I have. Ooh, that I made in Gravity Sketch and it's mine and I made it. This is so great. So yeah, it's a thing. This is a thing that you can do. It's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull myself out of here. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this crazy adventure. It's been super fun. It's been super fun. Um, and yeah, I really can't wait to see what you guys make in Gravity Sketch and then upload. And also, you can probably also find a lot of object files on the internet just randomly. So go explore a little bit, find some object files. You guys are amazing. I'll see you guys in class. Bye.